हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एम डी नेटवर्किंग बीजेपी सीरीज बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल माय नेम इज अमित बट वीडियो रोड मैप इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दीज कमांड्स IBGP using update source command and eBGP multi hop option and how to configure in BGP with the help of this example i will explain you why update source is important for stability in IBGP sessions and here router 1 maintain the IBGP with router 2 using physical interface fast ethernet 0/0 for establish the ibgp session source ip address used router 1 and router 2 of physical interface fast ethernet 0/0 to establish tcp session and ibgp session here is tcp session establishment of three way handshake between router 1 and router 2 using physical interface ip address sends sin x in and x to establish the tcp session and ibgp pairing if this link goes down tcp tcp session breaks and bgp pair goes away if router 1 and router 2's connectivity via fast ethernet 0/0 goes down but we have a reachability via router 3 4 and 5 if we are using source command and using loopback as a source ip address to establish tcp session so then we do not worry about whether fast ethernet 0/0 goes down or fast ethernet 0/1 goes down our session remains established so that is the benefit of update source command in bgp by default BGP assumes that external peers eBGP are exactly one hop away. Using loopback as a source interface puts ISP router two hops away from router one. With the help of the eBGP multi hop two used to establish eBGP pairing between router one and ISP. So let's start to do lab and see how to configure these commands in BGP speakers. Let's take a console of router one and router two. And now ping the loopback address of router two using source IP address of loopback router one to check the connectivity between router one and router two. Now I go to the global configuration mode to configure BGP. Router BGP and the AS number and the neighbor the loopback address of router 2 and remote AS number 100. Now the neighbor command and the neighbor IP address and update source command update source from a loopback address loopback 0 so end now we check the configuration of to router 2 and first of all uh, i will Uh, a debug ip packets detail with the help of this command i will see the stcp establishment debug ip bgp with the help of this command i will uh, check the different states to bgp to establish the session between router 1 and router 2 now we go to no service stamp time stamps so that uh, i do not uh, the time stamps has not come while debugging the output on the console so router bgp enable the process bgp process and go to neighbor command and give the uh, source address of router 1 and uh, remote as number as 100 of router 1 
and uh, neighbor command uh, again and uh, neighbor uh, address is 1.1.1 one, uh, one 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 of router 1 and uh, update source command go uh, using my loopback address router 2 and uh, it's done now the configuration is done uh, right now so far so good okay now we check the TCP establishment of connection between the router 1 and router 2 router 1 sends the SYN packet using source IP address 111 to destination IP address 222 of router 2 and router 2 sends back to AXIN to back router 1 destination IP address is 111 and a source IP address is 222 of router 2 and then router 1 sends back AC, AC to router 2 using the destination IP address of router 2's loopback and source IP address of the loopback address of router 1 so it is that these three way handshake is established now it go to the BGP go to the different states uh, uh, version number what is the version number it is and this sends the version then it goes the open send to open confirm and uh, then open confirm to establish the and BGP pair goes up and uh, with the help of this uh, update source command in BGP we are able to establish the BGP connection IBGP pairing between router 1 and router 2 let's take a console of router 1 and ISP first I check the connectivity between which interface is connected to ISP it is just a serial 1 slash 0 is connected with ISP service provider now I will check whether the IP is configured on the interface here is interface configured in on interface 1 slash 0 now I will check whether the loopback address is reachable from my address router 1 to the ISP service provider so loopback yes it's connected 100% successful now I go to configure the BGP process eBGP relationship between router 1 and router uh, ISP using the router BGP 100 and neighbor 9.9.9 .9 loopback address of ISP and uh, remote AS number of uh, ISP is 90 so our local AS number and the remote AS number is different so it established the uh, eBGP relationship between each other so now we go to eBGP multi hope option we use this option e, uh, is command to establish that neighborship between the ISP using the loopback address of that ISP so here eBGP2 So let we go to ISP router and we have to configure T and router BGP 90 and give neighbor command the interface of physical interface of router 1 is 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 and remote AS is 100 so it is different so it maintains the eBGP relationship between router 1 so 10.10.2 update source is my loopback address loopback address 0 uh, as we see neighbor is go, uh, goes up now so 
now we ver now we verify the BGP show IP BGP neighbors. Here you see the all the uh, BGP neighbor is this and remote AS is this. Now we check the show IP BGP summary. With the help of this command, we check neighbor is 10.10.1, AS number is 100, and version is 4, BGP version uses, and prefix is 0. And uh, right now, it does not advertise any route to ISP, so that's uh, it uh, states to prefix 0.